Okay, this video will be how to create a new menu um, for your uh, website to go in your template. So here's our test site and we need to have a new menu, possibly in this top position right here. Now first of all I'm going to check my positions and I'll put in index uh, dot php question mark tp equals one to see my menu positions and you'll see that there is a nice position for a menu right here in user 3. This is where I'm going to want this menu. It's the same position that I created my uh, menu for Dan's courses right here. So we'll do that for this test site. So user 3 is the position that we're going to target. Okay so in test site here I'm going to go to menu, menu manager and I'm going to hit new for a new menu and unique name it's recommended if you highlight over the information that this is a unique name and uh, no spaces in the unique name. So I'm going to say top menu. And then the title, I'll say top space menu. Notice the top one, I didn't put any spaces. And I'll even change it to the top menu on the top one, no spaces title, top menu with a space. I'm going to leave the description out and then for the uh, module title I'm going to call it, the module title will be just top menu like that. Okay I'll hit save and now I have this top menu right. So now I'm going to go check out my module manager and in the module manager you see when you created the menu automatically a top menu module was created with the module type of mod underscore main menu. So now we have the left menu which is our main menu, right? It used to be called main menu, now it's called left menu. And then we have another module main menu but this one's called top menu, right? And so um, I'm going to enable it, right? Let's make sure it's enabled and now I can go to top menu and I could create um, you know links to content or all kinds of stuff here so let's see here what I'll do is um, maybe I could create a uh, a poll so I'm gonna go to components poll and I'll say new poll and I'll say uh, title Super Bowl. Okay. All right. Title. Who will win the Super Bowl? Save. Yeah. Who will win the Super Bowl? Options one. Uh, Colts, who will win the Super Bowl? They could say next year's Super Bowl. Colts, Saints, um, Broncos, etc. Great, that sounds good. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, there's my poll. And published, yes. Save. And now I'll go to my top menu. And I'll say new menu item. Polls. Poll layout. Right. I'm going to name the poll, take a poll, right, and display in the top menu, and select the poll, who will win next year's Super Bowl, and hit save. Yeah, that sounds good. Now if we go back to our home page, I'll click on home, and refresh. 
and it's not showing up here yet. So we have to see what's going on with that. Uh, take a poll published. That looks good. All right, extensions, module manager, top menu. Ah, I have it listed in the position, the wrong position, so it didn't show up. So over here, if you see on this one, test site, it shows up down here because it's in the left module position. So I need to change it so that it's in the user 3 module position and hit save. And now if I hit home, take a poll is now in the user 3 module position. I can click on it and there is the built-in poll component with which you could take a uh, poll. All right. Well, that sounds good. We have to still have to get it to work so that we can vote on it. You can see that this is not a good voting mechanism right now. It just shows you the poll. So I'll show you that in the next video.